EU cross-border organisation Good Energies Alliance has said it will campaign against the controversial mining method known as fracking. The technique, which involves fracturing rocks with pressurised fluid, is being proposed by a mining company for use in gas exploration projects in Leitrim and Fermanagh. In the first of two reports, our correspondent Richard Downs went to Pennsylvania in the United States, where residents say fracking has contaminated their water supplies. Craig Seltner moved to this part of Pennsylvania for the clean air and the clean water. But he says the gas industry has ruined his life. And now he spends all his spare time fighting them and helping neighbours like Edward with donations of drinking water. Need uh, bottled water for drinking, for rinsing vegetables, for making anything, you know, cooking, whatever. The internet is awash with videos showing people setting their water alight, allegedly as a result of fracking gas getting into the wells. But Craig says his problem is chemical contamination. My daughter would get in the shower in the morning, get out and have to lay on the floor because she thought she was going to pass out from the gas. Eczema on the elbows, hives up and down, rashes up and down. And the reason I know it's from the water is because they never had that problem before we went back on the well. And since we've been off the well, since... Uh, for over two years now, they haven't had the problem again. The company involved disputes Craig's version of events and there have been numerous court cases between the two parties. A major report on fracking from America's respected Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, is due at the end of the year. In a scenario reminiscent of the Corrib controversy in Mayo, the community here has been deeply divided. Neighbours no longer speak to each other and there's a general air of deep suspicion towards outsiders. At the Museum of Natural History in Philadelphia, Dr. Richard Horowitz has been conducting numerous studies on the effects of fracking. Here he's examining fish for contaminants. He's less concerned about fracking in the abstract. The real problem, he says, is how it's actually done and how the companies are regulated. How it's done, what are the practices and who's doing it. You have drillers, you have the companies, you have the pipelines, uh, you have the frack water disposal. And with that kind of a structure, you, you can imagine that there's lots of ways for a few bad actors to, to have an influence. The benefits of the new gas industry are everywhere to be seen here in nearby towns. Shops have reopened, hotels are booming, and there's a general air of prosperity. But others here say that gas has only brought misery and environmental degradation. It's an argument that seems impossible to resolve but there's no dispute about the biggest effect on the community here. Gas wells like this one have popped up all over the countryside here, causing a lot of environmental argument, political wrangling. But more than that, the legacy of personal bitterness between neighbour to neighbour has been the dominant feature of what's happened here. Richard Downs, RTE News, Pennsylvania.